a friend of mine asked me to help him with a, his trial recently. So we spent a Saturday going through his case and helping him with his closing arguments. And I went and saw him give his closing argument at the Daily Center recently, and he did a great job. And one of the things that struck me was the insurance lawyer kept hammering out it's all the plaintiff or the injured party's fault. It was all his fault. But the, the reality and the, the truth of the matter is a lot of times it's shared responsibility. And in our system, and luckily in Illinois, we have a, a system where it's comparing the fault. So, for instance, if a driver knocks a pedestrian down and the jury thinks he's 80% at fault, you would recover 80% of your damages or what, what you're entitled to. And it sounds almost obvious when you think it, it through. If you're 50% at fault for an incident, you should pay half of what you cost. Um, but some states, like North Carolina, for instance, it's not like that. If you are 1% at fault for an accident or a collision, and you bring a lawsuit, you get zero recovery. So a drunk driver who runs through a red light and hits a pedestrian, if a jury thought the drunk driver driving this truck illegally was 99.9% .9 at fault, and they thought, well, the pedestrian, he should have avoided it slightly, was about almost 1% at fault. In some states, the plaintiff would recover, the injured party would recover zero. And luckily in Illinois, we don't have that law.